Um, welcome back guys, this is part 8 of our tutorial series, build a website from scratch. And in this part of the tutorial, um, what we're going to do is we're going to add in um, a Facebook widget into our left hand content here. And this should essentially pretty much complete the um, template version of our of our site. So we're going to go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you where to find that application. So if you go to developers.facebook.com, um, you get this page here. And in the search bar up along the top here, all you need to do is type in like box. And it's the first option that comes up in Facebook developers. Now what we need is, we need the actual physical address to the page that we're going to include. Now this, this business already has a Facebook page. And all I did was I visited the Facebook page and I copied the address that appears up here in the navigation bar or the URL and you can paste it in there and it should automatically bring up the feed from that page and as you can see it can it brings it up straight away so what we can do is we can make changes from here um, for what, whatever way we want this to appear so essentially what we want to do is I'm going to remove this header here so we don't want that for a start um, so I'm going to take that out and you can see it automatically takes it out there. Um, the default height and width for this is the default width is 300 pixels and the default height is 556 pixels as you see it here. And that includes 10 faces and just some of the feed. So that, that's fine. So what we're going to do is I'm going to include this as, a five, as the standard height um, and we want to show the faces but you can make changes. You can it's customizable. You can remove the faces and show more of the feed. Um, you can remove the stream and just show the faces of people that like like your page. Um, the next thing and what we're going to customize here is the actual color of the border. So what we need to do here is I need to go back in and get the color of the border. Now the color of the border is the same um, as the background color for our navigation menu. So if we go in there, and what we can do is we can actually copy that code there, the hex code, and we can go back to our Facebook page which is here, and we just paste it in. And click anywhere outside, and you can see there's a green border around that. Now, what we want to do now is we need to get the code for that, uh, that, that we can paste into our document um, to make it appear on the on the on the website. So what you need to do is you need to click on this little button here that says get code. Now using the HTML5 uh, option is what we're going to do in this. You need to copy this section here. This is the little JavaScript uh, that allows the Facebook widget to appear on your page. So you copy that and you go back to your HTML document and you look for the body tag. The first body tag here. And what you do is you make a line break and you just paste that in there. Now that goes just inside your opening body tag. And what you can do is you can just give it a line break or two just to kind of define what it is so that you know that it's a, it's its own little entity. So the next thing we want to do is down inside in the left content area here, that's where we want that Facebook feed to show up. So I'm making a line break in there. And we go back in here and we copy the next portion of code. We copy that and we paste that into that little spot that we've made there. So we save all of that and if we put this up onto the server and we view it in the browser we refresh that we have our Facebook feed appearing on the page. Um, and as you can see that's pretty straightforward there isn't a whole lot to that it's pretty self-explanatory uh, there is there there are portions of this code that you can manipulate from within Dreamweaver um, but pretty much everything you need to do uh, you can do from here um, you can go in afterwards and you can manipulate uh, portions of that code in here like it's it's it is essentially HTML code uh, it's a div with a class of Facebook like box and we touched on IDs for divs and classes earlier on. I'm going to go more detail into it now, but essentially what, what a class is, the difference between a div that has a class and a div that has an ID, um, 
Generally, what most people use div IDs for is for something that's only going to appear once on the page, like your wrapper is only going to appear once, your header is only going to appear once. But for something that's possibly going to appear a few times, um, you give it a class. Uh, and this would be quite the case with images. Uh, you would use you would give images uh, classes rather than IDs a lot of the time, especially when you're going to have a lot of images on your page. Um, so you're defining one rule for a kind of a multitude of, of different things. Um, and then the next portion you have within here is the H reference. So this is the actual physical address for the Facebook page uh, that we want to display. The next thing then is like if you look at this here, this is essentially the code that we've been using up to now. But because it's a Facebook one, they're using the prefix of data um, because it's it's obtaining data from their server. So I, that's the reason that that's included. So essentially, it's got a width of 292 pixels. It's got a height of 556 pixels. It's going to show the faces, which we said was we wanted. So that's set to true. It's going to show the data stream, which is basically the feed from the Facebook page. That's set to true. And then the border color that we asked is the same color that we defined for the background of our navigation, which is that green color. And then the data header uh, is set to false. So that's basically describing that div, and that's that div closed there within our left content. Um, so that's pretty much it. So that's our Facebook um, item added to our, our page. All we need to do now is we need to copy that page, that code in um, and paste it into our blank document. And actually what we might actually do is I'm going to go ahead and create... No, we'll just we'll, we'll copy that onto our blank document. So if we copy that and we'll open up our blank document because it's we're going to use this as our template. Um, and if we go to our left content area here again and make a line break and paste it in again and that should be our blank document set up so that when we go to use or create another page it's already in place. So that's it for this portion of the tutorial. In the next uh, tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to actually start adding the content and paragraph content to the uh, pages and some images and we can show you how to style those but um, for the time being guys if you could uh, drop us a wee like there and uh, be sure to subscribe and if you have any comments or questions um, please leave them in the comments section below and again thanks for watching this tutorial bye